What pictures come into our heads when we think of old age? Is it infirmity, cognitive decline, Alzheimer's, loneliness, the end of adventure? The sad truth is that these pictures are more often than not true. No wonder many people dread becoming older. Fortunately though, there are a number of strategies we can incorporate into our lives to give ourselves the best chance of staying healthy, fit and strong well into our 80s, 90s and beyond. I believe that older people need to become more responsible for their own health and governments should encourage our ageing populations to think differently by introducing educational programmes designed to motivate older people to exercise and look after their diets. They should also usher in a plan of action to help make it easier for older people to socialise, learn and engage with others. This is not only for the benefit of older people, but is also in the interests of governments around the world as the enormous cost of healthcare in all countries is growing. During this time of coronavirus, we are witnessing just how vulnerable older people are, especially those living in nursing homes who are contracting and dying from the virus in large numbers. This should be enough for us all to get up and take charge of our health. We need to learn more and more about what makes us healthy. For example, the miraculous benefits of exercise on our bodies and brains. How eating healthily, keeping engaged in life, laughing every day, learning new things and meditating can all contribute to keeping the ravages of old age at bay. Add to this the wonderful Australian biologist and professor of genetics, Dr. David Sinclair, who is working to come up with a cure for ageing itself. Dr. Sinclair believes aging should be viewed as a disease and treated as one. If we cure aging, then we cure most of the diseases associated with it. Many, of course, won't agree with this and believe that aging is an inevitable part of life. But think of it this way. According to the website Our World Data, since the 1900s, the global average life expectancy has more than doubled and is now above 70 years. The more advanced our medicine, the longer we are living. Then there is Dr. Dale Bredesen, who is the author of The End of Alzheimer's. Dr. Bredesen is the Chief Science Officer of Apollo Health and a pioneer in brain health research. He is having success in reversing Alzheimer's through his RECODE protocol, which includes healthy eating, exercise, meditation and fasting. This is groundbreaking because up to now the treatments for Alzheimer's haven't been very successful. Dr. Bredesen says we all know someone who has survived cancer, but we don't know anyone who has survived Alzheimer's. That looks like it's changing as we speak. While all this exercise, eating healthily, meditating, etc. might sound like too much work, just think of the alternative. Do we want to become dependent on others in our later years? Don't we want to live independent and interesting lives right up to the end? But we need to stop waiting for a magic pill. And there needs to be a societal shift in attitude towards older people. And that begins with ourselves. What we want to avoid are patronising news slots showing some frail 100-year-old person blowing out candles on a birthday cake while sitting in a chair looking confused by all the fuss. What we do want to see are more of people like Ruth Cunson, who at 103 still goes to the gym and is looking spectacular with her makeup, lipstick and nail polish all perfectly applied. But this requires a paradigm shift in how we think. We have to get it into our heads that it's not inevitable that we will end up reliant on someone else. Independence, being engaged in life, learning, watching what we eat, having fun with friends, all of these things will give us the best chance of growing older positively. Don't throw in the towel and be lulled into a belief that our bodies will fall apart as we age. 
Read and research what is best for you. For example, did you know that there are studies into the benefits of pomegranate juice for memory? Or why fasting can delay aging? Or even why socialising is good for our overall health? These are just some of the exciting results of studies which are all available to read online. Try to make the effort every day to keep going for as long as possible. Don't leave all the fun in life to the young people. You too can make your goals and plans for each day. Is there something you've always wanted to learn? Then watch a YouTube video. I can almost guarantee you, you will find something there that will teach you at least the basics. There is so much information available these days on almost everything you can think of. If you don't like YouTube, then your local library is a mine of information. The staff are usually extremely helpful and will do their best to find you a book on your chosen subject. What do you want your days to look like? What do you want to learn? What exercise will you take? What fun will you have? What will you eat? Who will you ring for a chat? Write down the things you want to achieve today. It doesn't have to be anything major. It can be small. It could be as simple as planting a flower in a pot, cleaning out a drawer, putting on lipstick or perfume, writing a thank you note. These are all choices we can make right now. It's easy to sit down and watch TV with a bag of crisps and a glass of cola. How about instead reading a book, doing a crossword puzzle, ringing a friend, going for a walk around your neighbourhood? And remember, when you meet your neighbour, stop and have a chat. It will give you and them a healthy boost. Don't let life dictate how you should age. This is your life. You get to make the rules. Go for it and good luck.